So what? Give me something exciting. Maybe excited about this stuff. You're talking about digital signatures and credentials and blocks of JSON LD and who cares? Who the hell cares? Show me something exciting that you can do with this. I turn to a friend for this. Imagine what you can do if you have access to millions, millions of pieces of verifiable data distributed around the world, controlled by the people who actually own it and created it. And you had a system where you could bring that together and build applications on top of data that you trusted because you could see where it came from and you trusted the people who provided it. What could you do with that? It's called the Distributed Knowledge Graph, and the company behind that is Origin Trail. Please welcome our sponsor, Mr. Yuri Skornik. Uh, thanks, Phil. That's actually a very good uh, introduction, better than I would have said it, so uh, thanks for that. Um, but uh, thanks for having me today. Uh, I'm going to talk about... Uh, let me just see if I can... Oops, wrong button. Um, I'm going to talk about how verifiable credentials are actually um, combined and used in uh, a bit of a different way um, uh, as we transition from the attention economy to the intention uh, economy and actually how the uh, also standards from GS1 such as Digital Link are actually facilitating a trusted way uh, of doing that. But uh, before we get into all of the details, right, right now we're... Um, and a bit of a crossroad, or a bit of a transition, where we're transitioning from the attention economy to the intention economy. And by the uh, attention economy, what, uh, what we mean by that is, um, you know, uh, brands, um, businesses, uh, pretty much everybody is competing for our attention, right? That's a scarce resource. And uh, uh, what, what happens is that we get bombarded with ads um, through uh, different content, uh, algorithms that are trying to, you know, get the most relevant content to us. And, Often this leads to information overloads. Uh, there were a bunch of privacy concerns. So uh, what the intention economy is, the thing that we're transitioning to, is really uh, shifting the power uh, towards the consumer. Um, so uh, that means that we have, um, the instead of being bombarded with ads, um, the consumer actually expresses intent, um, and that kind of leads to a more, much more uh, intent-driven, uh, personalized interactions uh, for consumers to actually experience. Now, this shift uh, from attention to intention is driven by a convergence of uh, different data points, which are, we'll talk about a little bit later, can be uh, all um, expressed as verifiable credentials. And um, those data points on the brand side, we have everything from product information, promotions and campaigns, sustainability data, stock availability, anything you would think around where you also think GS1 standards, right? So um, we have, on the one hand, that, and then on the consumer side, we have uh, preference, uh, consumer preferences, purchase history, uh, wearables data that is getting more and more uh, popular, any budget constraints that a specific consumer might have, social media interactions. So all of these things you need to kind of understand the intent and, uh, and to do something with it. And much of this data, as we talked about already in uh, uh, the, the other session that we had, is uh, often private, it's often secured, it needs to be uh, handled with trust. Um, and kind of, uh, and we'll t go into a bit more detail uh, in the next slides, but uh, at the center of all of this, what's facilitating this transition um, are actually, it's AI, but not just any AI, it's AI agents, agentic AI. Um, and before kind of, you know, confusing everybody in the room, who is, how many, maybe just by a show of hands, are familiar with uh, agen AI agents and agentic AI compared to just like regular generative AI? Maybe just a show of hands. Okay, we see a, I see a couple, but in, in a nutshell, um, traditional gen AI, um, such as you go to chat GPT, you go, you ask a question, you get an answer, right? You don't know really whether it's true or not, no real way to verify it. Um, AI agents, they go a step further. So AI agents are essentially frameworks where AI can um, do things autonomously, can execute tasks, can uh, even uh, perform actions on behalf of either a consumer, on behalf of brands. And uh, this is kind of the main driver behind the, uh, uh, this uh, transition into intention economy. And if we have AI agents executing actions and kind of uh, um, shaping our intent, 
um, then you know that is already a very um, important sign that the data that they uh, underlying data that they use needs to be uh, trusted, needs to be verifiable, and um, often also needs to be secure. And while this shift to uh, to the intention economy is uh, it's a very exciting thing, right? There are risks. Actually, there's a whole bunch of risks, and one of them here. Uh, it's a, cool, a good quote from uh, Harvard Data Science Review on, uh, from a piece called Beware the Intention Economy, where they express concern that um, trust and privacy actually um, are not respected and will not be respected enough uh, once we transition and that instead of AI actually helping, so agents actually helping to um, capture our intent and uh, uh, understand it are actually going to be shaping it. So that leads to all sorts of, uh, you know, uh, influence, dangers of us being influenced in a way that we weren't, it wasn't possible before because these things didn't exist. And there's, so this is from this piece, we have uh, a bunch of similar research pieces coming out also from the, uh, from Cambridge University where uh, the concern is that AI agents might actually covertly try to uh, shape our decisions rather than just uh, uh, help us, help us, uh, assist us um, in uh, understanding our intent. And this raises a whole bunch of questions around uh, ethical AI, transparency, and how to do this. But the key takeaway at the end of the day is that if this transition is to happen in a successful uh, and, and uh, proper way, uh, we need trust, and we need uh, privacy, and we need verifiability. And we need frameworks uh, and uh, infrastructure that allows us to do this in this uh, uh, way and actually ensure that consumers maintain a certain level of control. And this is really what um, the decentralized knowledge graph by Origin Trail combined with uh, GS1 standards is really all about. So if we think about uh, GS1 powered um, product information, so everything we talked about before that uh, already can, is expressed in GS1 standards, so EPCIS events, product information, location information, all of these things um, are just the tip of the iceberg, right? Um, at the end of the day. Imagine we could connect all of these things together with uh, consumer, but individual consumer uh, data that is actually anything from consumer's preferences to purchase histories, uh, wearables data, wellness goals that individuals consumers might have, social media activities, budget constraints, and so on and so forth. And we could have all of this connected in a single knowledge graph that are uh, where every piece of this uh, knowledge are actually verifiable credentials. So for every piece of this connected knowledge, you could find out exactly who issued it, um, what happened to it, was it updated, was it maybe, maybe ownership uh, was, was changed, um, and maintain that knowledge uh, in the hands of the uh, uh, individuals or organizations that issued it. And they would get to decide, you know, I want to share this, I don't want this to be public, I want to share this with my uh, my business partners or I want something to be completely private. I don't want to share, for example, my budget constraints as an individual or wellness goals that I have. But it is important um, to have that access when, when we're talking about AI agents because they, uh, when they do have access to, uh, to, to knowledge like this, verifiable knowledge, um, then they can actually lead this and help us um, understand our intent, help us execute autonomous actions that are actually what we want to do and they're doing this in a trusted and, uh, and uh, more reliable way. Uh, 